Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Carmichael Gym, the venue for tonight's championship co-rec championship game. My name is Adam Obrick, joined alongside Logan Ward, not Sims. <laughs> Logan, two championship games down, one to go, two to go, one on our uh, channel. Uh, what are you looking forward to this game? I'm looking forward to a good game. The two games that we've had thus far have been really competitive. I think it'll be a lot more aggressive in those games than we're going to see right here, but I still think we're going to have a really exciting game. Now, I do like the fact that we get to see a little mix of men and women on the court at the same time. Uh, friendly competitive games for sure coming up. And we, I did play against some of these guys uh, in, on the, in the black jerseys, uh, no, especially number 12. Pretty good player. Keep an eye on him throughout this broadcast. Uh, we still have not received the rosters or the team names. So <laughs> right now we are going to just say red and black. And the jersey number associated there within. I'm sure the roster will come eventually and we'll be able to do our jobs correctly or better, <laughs> I guess. Tw two 20-minute halves will determine the champion. Championship shirts on the line once again. As always, we just saw... Sigma Pi walking off with theirs. Sigma Pi and A Team so far are championship champions tonight. If you missed those games, you can watch them on our YouTube channel at Pack TV. Highlights will come later tonight. I mean, I'm just excited. Yeah, likewise. Should be a good game. You see, not a ton of like competitiveness out here yet, but we'll see. Should be a really interesting game. And the added dynamic of having both men and women on the same team, like you said, always fun to see how that happens. Now I'm guessing the teams have to leave two women on the court at all times. Actually, not. am I counting it right? Okay, there's five people on the court. I am guessing the rule is two women on the court at all times, no matter what, just to make it fair. Looks like the black team has less of a bench as usual. Or looks like they're about even, actually. First time tonight, we have an even bench as the red team takes care of the opening possession. Ford drives it behind his back. Red Resets doing, on top of the key. Red doing a good job just trying to make something happen here as number four drains the shot. Beautiful shot by number four to start off the game. Team Black dribbles, 21, good pass inside to 11. Goes up right-handed, no good, 22 to rebound. No, and rebounds ever critical. You want to get them on the defensive end, but offensive rebounds matter just as much, so you know that 11, that the Black team would have loved another to get that Another three, there. another make. Number four, he's hot. Two threes early to start this game. You have to imagine that's going to affect his game. 6-0 lead. Number four, <laughs> Efford. I hope I'm saying his name right, but that's all it says. No first name, just Efford. So as I say that, number 32 for the double team, Myers, with the easy bucket. 32. And the teams, was we have just now learned, as number 22 on the red team sinks yet another bucket for three. Staniland with another three. Survive in advance with an early 9-2 lead. And number 32, Myers gets the ball stuck in the rim. As Don't see that a lot. They call that a jump ball as the red team will retain possession. Possession arrow giving them the ball here. Number 14 for double team, Diggs will inbound. They're going to call that out of bounds and allow Black to keep possession here. Double Hot team. start. Four survive in advance. Three shots, three threes, all good. Their three-point barrage has definitely been a sight to see. It's we'll see if that continues up. as number 32, Myers, drives to the hoop for an easy layup. Looks like they need a towel, a little bit of moisture out there.
Good game so far. Clock actually stopped right now. Haven't seen that much today. Sandaland brings up the ball. Let's see if they'll look to shoot another three here. And one does, and it's good. That is Temison. Just been a fantastic job from range for survive and advance so far. Survive and advance looking more like just advance right now. <laughs> four threes, four makes, 14. Nice drive. Great layup by number 14, Diggs. First female to score tonight. Double team definitely driving it more to the hoop than this survive and advance team. One takes another three. Barely First that miss one. of the it night. Out. Four out of five for the whole team, bringing them to 80%. The ball is deflected there. I think Double it just team. went out of bounds. Double team. advised turnover. Double team gives up possession to survive and advance here. Survive and advance with the four three-pointers early on here. I mean, the perimeter game ever more important in this game. Logan looks like the team that makes more, 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 most, the most threes tonight will win so far. Now, there's only one difference in the shots made category. The only difference being Survive and Advance getting all of their shots from range thus far. Just six sizing up his opponent there, trying to find a way to get past him. Gustin inside gets fouled by number four. Effort. Gustin, Gustin will head to the line for the first points for his first points tonight. First free throw good. You know, he's done a fantastic job thus far on both the offensive and defensive side of the ball thus far. He drains both of those here. And with, he, with Survive and Advance coming out so hot, it could be discouraging, but Double team definitely staying in it. Just as I say that, effort drives down the lane, gets rim blocked. You would think Pajob was on the court <laughs> from the frat championship team. A good attempt makes something more exciting happen. Great handles by number 22, drives barely misses. That was Staniland. I believe I've called Staniland's name in a different game before. I've certainly seen him out here on this court. He's a triple threat, student athlete, and I don't know what else. Air ball. Looks like we have some substitutions for the black team here. Number 22, two players just showed up. No names on the roster. We'll try to get those for you at halftime. Stanilan brings the ball up the court. Kind of a little sloppy with his ball handling there, but it's pretty. It's pretty nice though. Absolutely. Keeping the ball on the string. That was Moody with the drive and a miss. Thirty-two drives traveled, no call. Fifty-six with the three, and it's beautiful three-pointer by number. 56 Shaw. This game is neck and neck right now. One point differential. Survive and advance, definitely surviving, but need to advance the ball a little bit more often. Beautiful no look pass from Staniland there. Traveling Travel called. Well. Both teams confused about that call. You can tell both teams are just having some fun out here right now. Good action so far. Most well, certainly. Good handles by 56 for double teams. Let's see if Ford tries to jam it again. Indeed, he does. That is effort with the slam. Myers 
takes it up, layup up and good. I think that might be his third or fourth shot made tonight already. It's his second thus far. Feels like a lot more. <laughs> he's been, he's Pardon certainly me. been very active. I believe we saw him out here actually for the club championships. I was, I was thinking that, but I wasn't working those games, so I wasn't sure. Indeed, he was a big, he did play a big part for the men's club basketball team. Most certainly kept them advancing throughout the game and then when they needed him most showed up in that championship game against North Carolina Central. First free throw for Moody, good. Her first points of the night. Both teams doing a great job right now with their shots. Much higher scoring affair than some of the other games we've seen tonight. Signu only scoring nine first half points in the fraternity championship first half. Moody second free throw good. As double team brings it up the court. Foul no call. Ref say, says play on. Moody, another corner shot, no good. Looks like Red made some substitutions. And that was number 11, Gustin. So far, so good, seven points on the night. Leading his team right now. The game is tied, 16 apiece. Good drive by number 22, Staniland, for survive in advance. Survive in advance, up by two. Staniland with a quick defense there. Great basketball so far in this game. Very impressed with both teams. Looks like possession will ret be retained by double teamed. I always found the creativity in the names that these co-rec teams can come up with pretty entertaining at times. Survive in advance or double teamed? Both, admittedly. I, it just allows for them to kind of have their own like identity. You know, They don't have a simple identifier like the frats who have their own names already built in. No, I don't know about you, Logan, but number three on double, on survive in advance, looks to me like she might have played two games ago. That she Florida did. sorority championship. Well, let's see if she can pick up uh, that championship shirt here to, with this game. A Sigma Kappa fell to the A-team earlier tonight in the championship. Looks like that's going to be a foul call. Number 26 of Survive and Advance here. Nice drive by Gustin getting hacked on the way to the basket. Someone to inbound it to. Staniland standing over near the ref talking to him. Good defense by surviving advance. Good defense by number 26 indeed. Staniland pulls up for three. Off the front of the rim, but almost went in. Shaw will bring it up for double teamed. Thinks about the shot. Ball is knocked out by Survive in Advance right there. Good defense staying quick on their feet. Just unable to keep that ball in bounds right here. Some subs ready to check in for double team. Myers in the put. Stanley trying to draw the charge, but still manages to make Myers lose the ball there. Looks like it might have been a travel, no call by the ref. Staniland will shoot. Shooter's touch, not there. Gustin brings the ball up all the way. Gets blocked. Not really sure what happened there. Looks like Staniland went up for the block, but realized that number 26 of surviving advance was already there and had already blocked the shot. Eight minutes to go in this first half. Pretty good game so far. Very competitive. 
Looks like they're going to call that one. Myers. Dan Lang getting a little physical with Myers there in the post. Myers' first free throw. It's good. Drains that first one. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, Logan, but I do think the men, men's club basketball team, did travel to Ohio State for a tournament as well. I admittedly would not know. I was not there for that. Unfortunately, we did not cover that tournament. Myers draining both of his free throws there. Now with six points on the evening. As we wind down to about seven minutes here left in this first half. Great block by Gustin. Down low on number 21, Moody. Are you drawing the foul there? Been quite active for this surviving advance team thus far. Neck and neck game though. And Moody will head to the charity strike. See if she can extend the lead a little bit more. First free throw is no good. 6.25 left in this first half. First miss at the free throw line tonight though. Second free throw. Up and good. Sends the lead to three. Four survive in advance. As many points as Moody actually has right now. Nice pass to Gustin, unable to finish down low. I'm sure he Moody wishes he had that right one there. back as effort drives. Good steal by Gustin right there. Gustin drives, throws it up, gets tripped on his way to the basket. Two free throws coming up. Gustin not allowing his team to go down right here. Trying to keep it close, don't want to fall down by too many early. Looks like surviving advance with a three point lead right now up 21 to 18. Gustin looking to close in on that lead at the charity strike. First free throw. Up and good. Free throw is so important in this game. Gustin leading his team in points right now, doing it from both. Second free throw, good. Now in Survive in Advance doing a great job from the perimeter and they've continued that through all game. But double teamed, although they had looked a little weaker early on, still managing to stick with them right now. Good board by number three, Blivens, or Bliven. The girl we had a really hard time <laughs> pronouncing in the Glad to see her on the game earlier again. tonight. Now listen, she lost the game earlier tonight to the A team. I feel like it's really important for her to get that championship shirt. Now, tonight. Walking, walking away with two championship shirts is No, she lost the first one. Oh, I'm I know, but if she had managed oh. to walk away with both of them. Unheard of. Very rare. <laughs> in history of states only happened once. Prove me wrong. Only true co-rec legends. I don't pay attention to a lot of sports, but I do to intramural championship games. Stanilan, incredulous over that call. Just can't believe that was called on him there. Aggressive defense sometimes leads to those unfortunate fouls. Scary inbound as Myers recovers. Good pressure by number one for a surviving advance, Temison. Temison with the rebound. Rough shot for number 21 there on double teams. Stanley will bring it up, swing it to effort. Temison shoots and misses. Myers to rebound. Swings it to 56, Shaw. Myers been pretty active on the glass here. Looking for someone to swing the ball to as he takes Myers a three himself. Shoots. Bad miss. 21, Moody try to get that rebound. Excuse me, Driscoll. 
Myers, the big man on that club team, did a great job. Definitely from range, too. He has that capability to make that shot. Playing a little bit of a different role here as more of a combo guard slash big. Beautiful drive. Fantastic finish there. Through by the Gustin. Getting yet another opportunity for an N1. Definitely leading his team in points so far. Most certainly with 11, looking to make it 12 right here. And he manages to do so. Has not missed from that charity stripe thus far. He's a hooper. Definitely been a credit to this team. 205 left in this highly competitive first half. 23 apiece in this co -Rec championship game. Moody drives, doesn't find anybody. Three pulls up. Bilvin's no good. Hemmonson finds that offensive board. Effort, another three, up, no good. Good defensive rebound by Driscoll, unfortunately goes off her hands. Back to the survive and advance. Survive and advance definitely looked, they came out on fire from three point range, but they've definitely cooled down a lot since then. Looking to make something happen, trying to regain a little bit more of that perimeter composure here. Stalin, nice drive, pull up, no good. Looks like Survive and Advance will retain possession here. Ball going out of a double-teamed player's hands. Good hustle by number three, Bliven, down low, hustling for that offensive board. First 12 points for Survive and Advance were actually three-pointers, but they haven't scored any since. Amazing. Gustin drives once again, gets another easy layup. First lead for double-teamed, I think, this game. 25-23, Bilvin, nice layup, no good. Rebounded by double team. Behind the back pass, no good. As Stanley and tried to Euro step his way in there. <laughs> Unfortunately missed that. Looks like he got hit on the arm a little bit. Still checking, should have converted. Checking himself out there. Looks like Gustin is just going to slow this down here. 15 seconds left. Maybe try to get the last shot before halftime. Dustin drives. Great on defense. Two guys. Great defense indeed by number one, Temison. And it looks Point like. Eight seconds remaining. Point eight seconds remaining. It looks like we have a timeout. Team. Either team will try to set up a. Well, excuse me, double team will try to set up a final play here. Definitely gonna try for that catch and shoot method right here. Wanna get that out of their hands as quick as possible. It's really just a pop and shoot here. Not enough, oh, looks, looks like the referees did add a couple more seconds. Now you have, I mean, you could technically dribble twice. It looks like double teamed has actually gained possession here, up 25 to 23 now. With 3.2 left, you can probably take two dribbles or set up some screen play, get a good three. Inbound turnover, Temson. One second left. Man. Effort shoots the three, no good, and that'll do it for the first half. With Double team leading this game 25 to three. We'll be right back after a quick commercial break. Welcome back to Carmichael Gym for the second half of this co-rec championship game. So far so good for double team leading 25 to 23. Logan, what have you seen so far in this game that has enabled double team to lead? Well, Gustin has just been absolutely dominant leading this game total. He's just been dominant on the offensive end of the offensive side, scoring at will, basically. Gustin and Myers being the difference so far, indeed. For survive and advance, however, great hot start, making their first four threes. Um, unfortunately, they did cool down and are finding themselves down by two. 
Stanland and Effort have definitely been the leaders of that team, though. Both of them currently sitting at about eight and seven points, respectively. And that I think that if they want to win this uh, championship game here, they might need to step up and take a little bit more of those shots. Absolutely. And maybe even consider driving instead of settling for those deep threes, which weren't falling at the end of the uh, first half. No, they became a little too reliant on the perimeter game, and as such, their their lead took a t t paid the price. Great two games so far tonight on this intramural championship Wednesday night. One more to go here. Absolutely. Um, we'll see. Like, like we mentioned in the previous games, everybody wants those shirts. Everybody wants to show off to their grandma when they come home for the summer, say they want something. <laughs> and it looks like some other members of the club team out here to support their teammates. Just like the previous two games, great uh, attendance from the fans. Most oh, certainly. Not as good as the last one, but. Well, the frats are always going to turn out for their. They got their back. Fellow frat mates. This game is mo mostly, uh, looks like some old people, maybe some grandmas, some moms. Uh, supporting their grandchildren or sons. And daughters. And daughters, indeed. Uh, and it looks like survive in advance will have the ball first here. Effort. Er, apologies, number two. Number two. Bliss. Haven't really called his name too much tonight. Wonder why. Haven't seen him on the court, admittedly. Stanilan driving to the hoop. That was an impressive finish there. Beautiful reverse right-handed on the left hand. Such easy baskets down low. Just his physicality. He's been able to drive and he's been able to finish from any range. He's got two three-pointers as well, not just in, in close. He's been scoring at will, an absolute machine on the offensive boards. Adding to his point total tonight, definitely over 10 points so far. Sitting at 16 of his team's 27 right now. Inbound to Temison as he sets up the play. Bliss. Bliss drives left, swings it to Moody. Bliss trying to find something early in the second half here. Staniland throws up a three-pointer, but nothing doing there. Surprised to see effort on the bench to start the second half as he was a pretty impactful player. As I say that, Custon adds on. Like to a his machine point total. at him. What's impressive to me is that he's not really that big of a guy. As I say that, Gustin, another layup, another two points for his team. Lead now six. Putting the team on his back right for now. For surviving a, excuse me, for double team. Survive in advance, trying to survive here. This barrage from Gustin. Moody Myers try to get board. that up against Myers. No, unsuccessfully. <laughs> a little bit of a height difference there. Myers pulls up for three shooters, touch gets it in. Double team is on a roll right now. Taking a nine point lead, they were down very, they were down at eight points early in this game. I think, I think it was nine to two early. Certainly see no remnants of that now as. Staniland drives. Looks like we're gonna have a, we're gonna have a blocking foul. Could have definitely been an offensive foul. Most certainly. Ref didn't see it that way. Looks like Bliss is going to be subbed out for effort. Sub bliss for effort. Both teams doing a great job here tonight, but double team definitely pulling away right here as Stanland drains another three-pointer. 
And good timing for that three as they were desperately in need. Double Only teamed up by six. Stanilin with the steal. Let's see if he can get another bucket here. Good stop and layup. Stanilin keeping survive in advance in this game right now. Shaw had absolute, absolutely no chance on that defensive possession. Shaw finds Myers down low. Myers about to be double teamed. Amazing play by Myers down low. He now is in the double figures in terms of points. He's been very active on the defensive glass as well, pulling in a ton of rebounds. Double teamed up by six with 15.45 left. Effort with a beautiful spin, but defers to Staniland. Looks like Staniland wasn't really expecting it. As Moody battles for the offensive board unsuccessfully, Shaw brings up the ball. Four double teamed. Myers will try to add to his point total here as Women he drives. Easy look to Gustin once again. Great assist by Myers, finding him open down low. Women on uh, double team, most, certainly more active on the uh, pick and roll here, setting screens every time down the floor. And that is the key in these co right games. If, if your female partners are unable to score, use them as, as picks. <laughs> Set as many screens as you can. Got to get everybody active out here if you want to win. Definitely. Six point game. Gustin from deep, up and good. Logan, I see you writing on the little notepad, and you've written a lot of numbers next to Gustin's <laughs> names here. Gustin has scored at will, and this, that has continued in the second half. We'll try to get his point total soon. As Stanland pulls up, excuse me, Effort shoot, makes another three. Beautiful shot by Effort. Effort now with 13 points right now. Six point lead for double team. 14.05 left, Myers drives. Tries to look for Gustin unsuccessfully. A Stanland brings up the ball. About 14 minutes. survive in advance. 14 minutes remaining in this one. Moody with a great screen. It's like they're nice call. trip by Gustin called foul on effort. And it looks like Survive in Advance are going to try to get something going here. They're only down six. This is still anybody's game. Effort three. Drains Good. it. Good. Cuts in. Effort. Two double teams. Six point lead. Effort. Not only down by three. Effort and Staniland have definitely carried this team tonight. And like we said at halftime, those two guys are going to have to score here in order for them to get those championship shirts. Gustin looking for a foul call, doesn't get it, drives, layup, no good. Gets his own Can't rebound. remember last time he missed. Stanlin takes it from his hand. Gustin looks frustrated. Thinks he wants some more calls. Gustin shoots a three, no good. Belvin battles for the board. Good hustle Shaw by recovering. her. Recovering. Good hustle by her, just no, nobody on her team there to gain possession. Shaw drives, finds his female partner as Gustin offensive. Yes. Gustin, another layup, another foul, another chance for a three-point play. He is unstoppable. Even with a taller guy as Temesin, he's imposing his will down low. Absolutely. Doing whatever he wants. Still trying to calculate those point totals for him tonight. Been absolutely insane down low. By looking at your score sheet, he's well over 20 right now. Most certainly. He might have that on two pointers alone. Staniland grabs the rebound here. Survive in advance and gonna try to get something going. Have not seen Bliss shoot the ball yet today. I guess he's more of your passing point guard. Great hustle down low by Moody and Belvin. The two female players for surviving advance. Great hustle down low. Gustin, deep, no good. Rebounded by Might have been, been a little bit of a heat check there. 
I feel like you kind of deserve it. As you say, that Stanilan drives to the hoop with a nice right-handed layup. A three-point game right now. Double team still dominating. But just a three-point game with 11 minutes to go. Like you said earlier, still anybody's game. Gustin looking a little frustrated out there with the referees and himself. Myers. Gustin with 25 points himself. 25 points, that's amazing. 25 points in 30 minutes of work so far. As we come into the second half of the second half here. <laughs> Gustin drives, offensive foul. And a call the charge on charge right there. Charge taken by number 21, Moody. Great defensive play, I mean, Gustin has been driving with his head down, and she saw the opportunity, stood there, and took it, uh, should I say, like a man, right in the chest. Yeah, Moody has done a great job for her team here tonight. Three points leads all women in the game. Bliss finds. Good, good steal. steal by Driscoll. I don't think she really realized she had the steal. Bliss going to... Little too physical there with his hand check. Looks like they're going to call that as Gustin was driving to the hoop. Non shooting foul though. Double 9 50 left in the game. Double teamed up by three. Myers finds Shaw on the right wing. Uh, Myers, such a versatile player. We saw it in the club championship, or the club tournament, battle at the Brickyard. But he has been absolutely incredible here today as well, being one of the two players the double team has really leaned on here. Shaw, three-pointer, no good. Stanilan with a fantastic rebound. Oh. Grabbed it right out of Gustin's hands. Stanilan drives, right-handed layup, up and good. Cutting into the double-team lead. <laughs> Stanilan doing a great job here in the second half. No real player stood out for survive and advance in that first half, but Stanilan has kind of taken over here as their main producer of points here. Shaw, another three, no good. Possession will remain here for double-team. And it looks like we'll be taking a timeout. Double team taking a little quick timeout. Take their breather, regroup. Maybe set up some plays. Absolutely. It's Survive only and advance playing, in my opinion, a little bit better this half. Um, so far, so good. Absolutely. It's only a one-point game, you know? Anybody's, anybody's uh, game. Anybody's game, and a lot can happen in those few minutes. If you're a double team, what do you do here? Try to keep the lead and get that championship. I hate to say it, but you might just have to lean on Gustin. He's continued to produce and hasn't showed any signs of slowing down at all here in the second half. But you gotta get your other teammates active as well. Myers has been a great, he's done a great job inside. But basically Myers and Gustin have been about it for double teams. Have to imagine that they wanna get some more people involved and hopefully get some more producers. Two players really standing out on both sides of the ball, though. For du for double teamed, of course, Gustin and Myers standing above the rest. While surviving advance has had Stanilan and, and effort. effort. Yeah. Two. Four man show here tonight in this Corec Championship. Myers fades left, makes a beautiful shot. He's has, really good. Has he has incredible range. And still can function as a big man as well. I don't know how tall he is. He looks to be about 6'5", 6'6". Six, six. So let's say that Bliss makes his first three of the game. First points of the game. Coming at a perfect time, tying the game up with eight minutes to go. Myers pulls up for three. Another, another shot. 
Gustin and Myers taking turns, taking over the game right now. It's five straight for Myers as Efford pulls up. No good. Myers to rebound. Just Passes calling Myers' name all over the court tonight. He's everywhere. And he's everywhere because he knows exactly where to put himself to have the opportunity to get those rebounds and shots. Looks like he's been fouled and he's going to the line as well. Continue adding on to the point scored. With these two more free throws, he'll try to extend his little run on his own to seven straight points. First free throw, good. Second free throw for Myers. Up and good. That's seven straight points for Myers for double team. Let's see who responds for survive in advance. Double team didn't survive in advance. Trading buckets and trading blows right now, though. Mostly keeping pace and staying even right now. Still advised shot by Temison. Driscoll unable to find that rebound. Possession will remain here with 6.25 left in the game. Like Stanley coming back into the game. Summing Temison out. Temison with a single singular three pointer here thus far. Bliss bringing the ball up from backcourt. Bliss has pretty nice handles. Just hasn't done much in this game. Stanley drives, fades, finds the basket to bring Survive in advance within, I thought one, but scoreboard says three. Uh, Stanley continuing to allow his team to survive. They've done there the advancing. No advancing tonight. <laughs> They've done the advancing part already, getting to the championship. Myers talking to a ref, possession going to survive in advance as we have two new female players coming in for double team. Names unknown. <laughs> as we near about five and a half minutes left to go in this game. Bliss brings the ball up. Wide open three, let's see if he can make it. No good. Stanley fighting for the board as the ball just goes right into Myers' hands. Absolutely. Myers coming up with yet another rebound here tonight. Too much hand checking by Staniland. Foul called as Myers drives. Good call. Staniland arguing with the ref. I mean, you got to stand up for yourself. Even if you know you're at fault, you know, maybe you can sway them just a little bit to maybe go your way in the future. Gustin pretty quiet in the last few minutes. Survive in advance, thinking they had possession there. Efford thought he poked it out. Gustin showing the referee his scratches. <laughs> Not really sure if that's going to help his case. The game has been very physical so far tonight. Double team slowing it down here. Ball kind of sticking with 56 here. Shaw dribbling around. As we have about four minutes left in the second half as we wind down the final game of the evening. It kind of looks like they might just be trying to milk the clock a little bit. Not much happening here as Bliss picks up Shaw finally with that intense pressure. Belvin joins him. Double team. Foul called. Foul call on Bliss. Number 26 to survive in advance. We don't have a name for jumping up from the bench. Just absolutely disagreeing with that call. Myers, Myers three up and good. Giving them a six point lead. He's been unstoppable here in the second half. Oh. By himself, at least in the last few minutes, he scored 10 points. Gustin had the first half, but Myers has definitely taken over in the second half. Effort three, good, responds right back. Logan, we've had a ton of threes this game. <laughs> so
certainly more than any other game we've had here tonight. And the score reflects that. Both teams breaking 50 points. I don't think we've had another team get over 50, even the winning teams. Absolutely. Survive and Advance might want to change their name to just let it fly <laughs> with a great three-point shooting here. 2.30 left in the game. Three-point game. Survive and Advance making a substitution. Bliss coming out for Temson. A little bit of a full court, one man pressure. Effort will bring it up. Wearing those purple Kyrie twos. Takes a three, misses a three. Air ball wide right. Gustin, good defense. Came out, contested that shot. Made a difference. Absolutely, as we have about a little over two minutes here. Got to imagine that double teams is going to slow it down maybe a little bit here. Try to see what they can get. The clock should stop every whistle now, which is helpful for Survive in advance. Myers up top. Feeding the ball to Myers. double screen. Doesn't do anything with it. Now he drives. And it looks like, oh, a block. Looks like Moody was just unable to get her feet set. Clock keeps running. I don't know about. Didn't see if Myers managed to get, I think he did manage to get that shot to fall. The, and the clock kept running, unfortunately, for Survive and Advance. They might have lost about eight seconds there. I don't think the clock operator was aware of the stopping the clock roll. Myers converting the and one there, expanding double teams lead to six points. Buck 25 left. Let's see what Stanland does here. Shoots a two. Should have been a foul on Gustin, not called. Gustin playing with reckless abandon tonight. Maybe a little peeved that he hasn't been getting the calls that he wants. Gustin, great find by Myers again. The ref calls foul on that layup. I didn't really see who fouled. All but five points tonight of double teams. 58 coming from Myers and Gustin. he converts the three-point opportunity right there. Effort shoots a deep three right in Gustin's face. Brings it in within six with a minute left. Shaw gets intentionally fouled by Temison. Shaw had a three-pointer earlier in the game but has not scored since. And he looks like he will be heading to the charity strike for a one and one, I believe. If he makes one, he gets to shoot another. If not, it's a free ball. Stanland with the rebound. Under a minute remaining now. Dishes it to Efford. Shoots a three, no good. Looks like Efford lost his handle a little bit there. Moody gets the ball, but unfortunately looks like she might have been out of bounds when she caught that basketball. Turning it back over to double team. And that might do it. Myers will head to the line with 40 left. Six point game. Myers has been very consistent in his scoring though, so definitely not one of the two guys you want to foul here. You know, Logan, early on it didn't look good for a double team, but ever since that, 9-2 score, uh, they've outplayed Survive and Advance completely. Absolutely. Especially Myers and Gustin. Myers and Gustin have just been incredible tonight. I don't know if we can get the math done this late, but <laughs> between those two, uh, they have well over half of those 60 points. 55 of the total 60 points. That's just amazing. Name a more iconic duo, I suppose. Uh, maybe Kobe and Shaq, I don't know. <laughs> or MJ and Scotty. Well, in regards to this oh, and Carmichael Gymnasium and tonight. Kobeck championships, never seen a better duo in my life. And I've been watching this for you know, over 20 years now. <laughs> <laughs> Kobeck 
23.9 left in the game. Looks like double teamed is going to have the ball. Big shout out to our whole crew here, Kayla Glova, Savannah Ford, and Logan Sims, enabling us just to sit here and talk some hoops. Thameson shoots a three, makes it. Makes it a little bit more interesting. Only a three point game with 12 seconds remaining here. Survive in advance, doing the right thing in fouling. Looks like we have another timeout here. Every single game tonight has come down to the last two minutes. Absolutely. This one coming down to the last 12 seconds. We'll see if Survive in Advance can foul. Hope for them to miss and then, you know, hopefully get a miracle three to send this game to overtime. Absolutely. And you can't foul Gustin or Myers right now. Both of them are way too hot. My opinion, you double team both of them. And you just try to get one of the other people to beat you. Myers checking in on how many fouls he has with the scorer's table here. Haven't had anybody fouled out tonight in either of the three games. Had one girl get close in the uh, women's championship as she had four. Five fouling out. But fortunately for them, just have Shaw finds Myers. I don't know why they're not fouling. Effort finally does. Maybe Stanley didn't have a foul to give. Burning four seconds. Shaw headed to the line. Looks like As Myers you mentioned, that's probably the guy you want to see up there. Absolutely. Myers just hanging back right now. Now he does get two shots. It is not a one on one. At this point, either one of these free throws, I'm guessing, pretty much guarantees you this championship. First one. And there good. it is. That should do it. Four point game now. Have to imagine that double teamed is not going to foul. Surviving advance probably going to dribble down, take a desperation three, and I think that's going to be about it. Now, if double team wanted to, they could foul. Let's see what surviving advance does here. Stanilan going to drive it down. Swing Get intercepted it. by Gustin. Stanilan just throws his body carelessly, kind of unadvised, and it looks like there was a foul, but the refs are saying that is it for us here. Great game between Gustin and Myers. Willing, I mean, scoring 90, more than 90% of the points for double team. Logan, what can you see, say about those two guys' performances tonight? Absolutely incredible. Myers was active on the boards. He was active on the glass. He did a fantastic job in post, but he also nailed some very key three-pointers. And Gustin, what more can you say? He was able to do it all here on the offense tonight. And that will do it for us here at Carmichael Gym. Final score. Oh, they erased the score. I'm not, <laughs> not sure what it was. It was double team winning tonight, beating Survive in Advance. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good evening.